Afternoon all. Now I was dragged to Watford today but uh, Watford's quite an interesting place because there are three pound shops. There's a Maplin, there's a Class Olsen which is an excellent store and if you're prepared to uh, drive a little further there's a B&Q. But look what I found in the pound shop. It's a solar powered dancing flower. And what's interesting about this is that the two leaves appear to be mechanically linked but the flower isn't. And you can get some quite chaotic pendular movements set up by this thing. So intrigued to see how it works, let's have it apart. So inside, well on the outside we have a teeny tiny amor amorphous uh, solar panel. Now it's only got four sections so I can't imagine there's much voltage across that. The wires from that come down to the circuit board with one of those little uh, chip on board things with a blob of black stuff covering it up. There's a capacitor there, it's quite difficult to see but it's just above the two red wires. And then there are two tiny little uh, enameled copper wires going down to this extraordinary coil an enormous coil of wire and on one of the pendulum arms there's a magnet. Now you can see here that the two outer pendula are working absolutely in antiphase with each other so they are definitely mechanically linked. They're also weighted the same so the one on the right is just a dummy weight but that thing in the middle I think has a piece of metal in it so that it's kind of dragged along by the magnet in the left hand arm and sometimes not dragged along and it's sometimes in phase with the left arm and then occasionally it goes out of phase with the left arm. It's absolutely brilliant! So move aside solar powered butterfly which no longer works, probably because uh, of corrosion in the connections inside the solar panel or possibly even in the motor. And uh, welcome to the garden solar powered dancing flower. Now you don't look very waterproof to me. Uh, looks like this thing's probably supposed to be put on a windowsill. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave you out in the rain and see how long you last.